Let's start with a review. What is a decimal? Decimal refers to any real number expressed in base 10. A decimal point or dot at the left of a number or numbers or in between numbers tells us that there is a plus to a number but it is less than 1. Just like for example, when you say 75 hundredths or when you say 1 and 5 tenths. Do you know that decimal, just like fraction, is telling us that something is lesser than 1. So when you say 75 hundredths, this is equal to 75 over 100. That is how we read this one as 75 hundredths. 1 and 5 tenths, on the other hand, is converted to fraction like this, 1 and 5 tenths. Now you must have wondered how come that 75 hundredths in decimal form is equal to 75 over 100 that is in fraction form. So let us try to illustrate this one so that you will understand. Suppose that I have this box and this box is divided into 100 equal parts. And the part that I shaded pink is in total of 75 parts. So I have 75 equal parts shaded in pink in this box that is divided into 100 equal parts. So you have 75 over 100. So you can also express this one in decimal form and that is 0. 75, which is read as 75 hundredths. Now let's begin with lesson 1. Addition and subtraction of decimal numbers. Here is Gina, and Gina is going to shop today. Look at the items that Gina might be buying. Now look at the shoes. Let's answer the first question. How much is a pair of shoes? The answer is yes. A pair of shoes costs 645 pesos and 30 centavos. Now let me have another question. How much will Gina spend if she buys the dress and the sandals? Do you have any idea? Now let me tell you the answer ahead. And I want you to wonder how I got the answer. The answer to this question is, Gina will spend 1,455 pesos for the dress and sandals. But, how did I get the answer? Now let me show you how I got the answer for this question. As I have said, Gina will spend 1,455 pesos for the dress and sandals. Look at the items now. We have the dress and of course, we have the sandals. How much is the dress? The dress costs 890 pesos and 75 centavos, while the sandal costs 564 pesos and 25 centavos. We are going to add them and so, we will have 5 plus 5 is equal to 10 plus carry 1. So, 7 plus 2 is equal to 9 plus 1 is equal to 10. And that is another carry. So, 1 plus 4 is equal to 5. 9 plus 6 is equal to 15 and carry 1. So, you will have 8 plus 5 is equal to 13 plus 1 is equal to 14. You add the peso sign, so you have 1,455 pesos as the final answer. And that is how I got the answer. I just added the two 
prices for the sandals and for the dress. Now let us try this question. If Gina has 1,805 pesos and 50 centavos, how much will be left after buying the dress and sandals? Remember that the dress and sandals cost for a total of 1,455 pesos. So after buying the dress and sandals, I'm telling you, Gina will have 350 pesos and 50 centavos. But how did I solve this problem? Now remember, Gina has 1,805 pesos and 50 centavos. I am just going to subtract this one with the total of the dress and sandals, which is 1,455 pesos. So you have there 0 minus 0 is equal to 0, 5 minus 0 is equal to 5. I will just copy the decimal point and then proceed. 5 minus 5 is equal to 0. And then you have there 0 minus 5, which can't be. So I am going to borrow from 8 and 8 will become 7. And then the 0 that we have there will become 10. 10 minus 5 is equal to 5. 7 minus 4 is equal to 3. I'm supposed to say 1 minus 1 is equal to 0, but since it's at the beginning and it means nothing already, so I'm just going to take that one out. I'm just copy the peso sign. So you have there the final answer which is 350 pesos and 50 centavos. Now I want you to remember a few things. Before adding or subtracting decimal numbers, align the decimals in column. Add or subtract like whole numbers by affixing the decimal in the total or difference. I am going to show you another example. Can you add 5, 2 and 5 tenths, 3 and 75 hundredths, and 428 thousandths? How? Let me show you. Remember, you are going to align the decimals in column. And 5, which is the first given number there, is a whole number. There is no decimal point in there. I want you to know that 5 can be written as 5.00. Okay? So, now it's in decimal form, just like the others. So, I will put in 2 and 5 tenths. 3 and 75 hundredths and 428 thousandths. This is addition. Alright. So, I want you now to fill the empty decimal places at the end because it is necessary so that there will be a balance. So, all places will have zero. See? So, it looks the same. Same decimal places. So we are now going to addition right away. So you have there 8. Remember to align the dots, align the decimal points. That is very important. So let's now proceed with addition. You have there 8 and then 5 plus 2 is equal to 7. 0 plus 5 plus 7 is equal to 12 plus 4 is equal to 16. And then affects the dot, carry 1. So 1 plus 5 is equal to 6. 6 plus 2 is equal to 8. And 8 plus 3 is equal to 11. So the final answer is 11 and 678 thousandths.